how are you seeing foreign investor sentiment towards the China tech sector? Well, definitely people looking at it with eyes wide open and, and aware of the fact that uh, even though we've had a lot of the regulatory uh, actions completed and uh, signals uh, that most of it may be behind it from at least some of the uh, government bodies, there are multiple government bodies that are relevant to these companies. So even if uh, the financial regulator states uh, that everything is now behind us, that doesn't mean they speak for all of the relevant regulators. So we've reached a higher level of regulation and technology will continue to advance and we should expect uh, further refinements of the policy approach, but likely nothing like uh, the, the major movements we saw over the last couple of years in terms of the speed uh, and, and frequency. How would you evaluate sentiment towards the China markets in general now after such a large move to the upside in the initial burst of euphoria uh, coming out of COVID lockdowns, but we really need something else to move us forward. What do you see as the next line catalyst? Well, one thing to consider is we just had this government meeting uh, three days ago uh, during which they, they discussed the priorities for this year and uh, common prosperity is not listed uh, among them, which has of course been prominent uh, in, in recent years. And the focus is basically getting consumption back on track, the real estate sector back on track, uh, supply chains and reducing China's reliance. Uh, on the outside world. And uh, the question is, what will be the next steps we'll see during the two sessions uh, in early March in terms of you know, more details uh, on the bone of, of the, the overall approach? Uh, because you know, as, as you understand already, of course, uh, the question is, will the rebound we've seen to date be longer lasting or will the uh, consumption return be pretty short term uh, with uh, petering out fairly quickly in let's say Q2, Q3?